Hi, I'm Mike Oliver. I'm the Sample Preparation and Product Manager from Firma Fisher Scientific. I'm here today with my colleague, Mark Rapson. I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Chrome Consumables. That's it. Hello. Hello. Hi, Mark. So uh, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through some, some of the processes that some of our customers come across. And we're just really going to show some of the pain points that they come up, okay. come up against when doing in-solution digest protocols. I'm just going to run through an, uh, an overview to how you would normally perform an in-solution digest protocol. And then we're going to compare that to some of the new innovative technologies that we've developed. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make up our tris base. So, 12 grams of tris base in here, and can you add 450 mils of water to that? So if you can shake that up for me, Mark. It's almost like uh, Tom Cruise at Doctor. <laughs> I am from Tom Cruise, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey. We have our urea here, so two grams of urea. So you made your urea, give it a good shake again. There's our DTT, okay, so we've already measured it up, so it's 0.03 of a grams in there. You're right. Okay. How are you finding yeah. it so far? Well, it's quite laborious, isn't it? I have yeah. to say, I'm not exactly enjoying myself. Yeah. Okay, so add that. Bev, what you need to do now is incubate it for an hour. An hour, okay. Yes. Fantastic. And again, you're going to incubate it in the dark for 60 minutes. Leave it overnight at 37 degrees C, so you can incubate it again at 37 degrees. Okay, so it's the end of the day, you can go home. Go home. You can go home, you drive home, get home, see the kids. Okay, okay. so that was a whole day, that was a whole, whole day. night. So what you'd obviously need to do then, depending on the complexity of your sample, you might want to do a cleanup step. So that's how our customers are doing it now. So loads of different steps, yeah, that's... loads of potential for error. Would you like to see an easier way of doing this? That sounds awesome. Our firm scientific smart digest kits come with everything that essentially that you need in one box. 96 samples, you get your buffer and you also get a collection plate. I'm just going to give you one of our little PCR tubes with um, the immobilized heat stable yep. resin in there. Okay. So you're going to get 50 microliters of your sample. Okay. 150 microliters of the Smart Digest buffer. Okay. So we put it into a heat, sh heat shaker, turn it up to about 1400 RPM, 70 degrees C. Can't go that fast. Yeah, so 70 degrees C. Yeah. Okay. So do a centrifugation step or an SP step with the solar micro SP to clean up your sample if it's from a complex matrix such as plasma. And that's it. That's it. Wow, that's amazingly quicker. So how do you think of that in comparison to what you just did? Well, it's a lot easier yeah. and a lot less chance for making a mistake. Obviously, yeah. I, I'm infallible, so I wouldn't have made any, but um, <laughs> anyone else. So yeah. which, which one of those two would you prefer to do, do you think? The most definitely the smart one. Okay. 